It is my pleasure to speak on behalf of Chris Henry this morning. While at GA, Chris was a four-time Pennsylvania State Wrestling Champion, National Prep Champion, and won a college tournament as a senior, the first and only high school student to ever win. As a senior, he went 39 and finished his GA career with 199 wins, the most ever year. To put it in perspective, in GA wrestling history, one of the most successful sports at the school, we've only had 30 people ever finish with more than 100 wins. He continued his wrestling career at the University of Virginia, where he also holds the school record for wins. He was a three-year captain and a three-time NCAA All-American. In folk style wrestling, becoming an All-American is the highest level you can reach. It is more prestigious than being drafted as in football. While Chris does have a much lengthier bio, I thought I'd share a story about the first time I met Chris. Christmas Eve, 2013. I was a freshman, and all the alumni were back for the Christmas Eve practice. I shook his hand. Chris took one step towards me, grabbed my leg, picked me up, and threw me to my back. <laughs> As I got up and we switched partners, Coach Hill tapped me on the shoulder and said, watch this. Chris shook hands with Jared Gober. Jared was a senior, a captain, the best wrestler on the team, on the team and a three-time high school All-American. Chris took one step towards him, grabbed his leg, picked him up, and threw him to his back. <laughs> it is my honor to induct Chris Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> pleasure to be here today, and, and I'm sure you kind of get tired of, of hearing that by now, but it really is a mind twist for us to be back, and it's difficult to swallow the reality that next year I'll be having my 10-year reunion. Uh, further to that point, it's also very strange to be up here and talking to this audience in a celebratory manner, because the last time I took this microphone to address the school, it was actually to sincerely apologize to the school and faculty. Uh, the reason was, uh, a few friends and I had just fitted ourselves into some cardboard boxes and covered ourselves in chocolate syrup. Uh, we then spread it around the halls of the school during the Halloween parade, uh, leaving a delicious chocolate trail in our wake. Uh, big Sam Cohen, if he's around here somewhere, he's a culprit as well. Uh, I hope there are some, still some faculty members here around who can confirm that story. Be sure to ask them. Uh, I'd like to say to them, a lot has changed in those last nine years. <laughs> but uh, given the limited time I had to speak with you this morning, I'd just like to highlight one theme to leave you with today, and that is to learn to get out of your own way. Uh, being students here at GA puts you at a significant life advantage. It's literally a factory for producing success. There are so many resources at your fingertips here, whether it be for athletics, academics, drama, etc. But your most important resource to latch on to are the faculty members and coaches. So what, I say, so what I mean when I say get out of your own way, I mean embrace the people who are trying to better your future. Don't fight them. The door for your future success has been opened, but you need to be the one to walk through it. I think one of the more important reasons I was able to succeed in my wrestling career was because I always made myself available as a mentee. I actively seeked out mentors. And if there is one thing in common that, many, that any successful career has, it's that there was always an important mentor or mentor to help out along the way. Mentors will have one key ingredient that you are lacking, and of which there is no substitute, and that is experience. However, your mentor will be able to take his or her experience, clean it off, and recycle it in the form of advice and direction. So to that, I say thank you for your time today, and I just want to one last time remind you that there is nothing you can't accomplish in this life if you take advantage of the resources that are available resources that are available. If you want to one day start your own company, it's possible. If you want to be a billionaire one day, it's even possible. And if you still aren't satisfied after accomplishing all that, that's okay, because you can still take your billions and apparently become the next president. So thank you, and good luck to you all.